Where's Carol? There's Carol. <laughs> hey, so we're back after a long break. A little too long. I feel like it's been almost two months since we last yeah, visited. Just about, yeah. But we're here at Six Flags for their Mardi Gras festival. If they're allowing us, we may try and get on a float. I didn't ask if Carol, that was okay with Carol. <laughs> <laughs> but if not, um, then we'll just enjoy the parade. So we're excited to see the food offerings and show everyone around. Hey, just, uh, oh, look at that. You can tell it's windy by the direction of my beard. <laughs> so we didn't do everything we wanted to on our first, first video, so we came back. So if you see us in different clothing, that's why. Forgot to film us doing a quick review of Madame LaRue's Voodoo Dolls, and I have to say it was great. It's a fun new addition with some great singing and dancing, and I just love the costume design. We missed the beginning of it, but near the end they did bring up a member of the audience on stage and came out to the crowd as well. It's a great show and you won't be disappointed. So just did the uh what was it called? The Voodoo House or House of House of Hoogan? Hoogan? We did the House of Hoogan. Uh Kara, what'd you think? You're not even looking at me. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was good. We've done it before. Um, and it's always hit or miss on how many people they have in the house to scare you. This time, there were only like two? Yeah. Two uh, people? Either two or three. Yeah. I mean, it's overall a spooky house. So, you know, as you're going through the, the curves and everything, you know, it's spooky no matter where you are. And like, there's one part where you're... You're walking on this wooden floor, and the floor is moving underneath you, so that's kind of cool. I always like that part. Um, but yeah, there's not, there weren't like a bunch of scare opportunities, so um, it was fine, but still fun. You got a frozen hurricane? Is that what it's called? Um, I think so. <laughs> yeah, frozen hurricane. They definitely fill it to the top, so it's. A little bit spilly. It's very good though. All right, so we just finished the food and bites. I was about to call them Bayou Bites, but they're good. They were wrapped in bacon. Uh, I'm not sure what else is in them. Like, it's, it's like rice, like rice and meat mixture, and then covered in bacon uh, skewer, and then you dip it in this really, really good Cajun. Remulade. Yeah. How was that? They were very good. That's probably one of my favorite things they have here. I remember them being really good last year, and I was excited to get them again. Got a hurricane on the rocks. That's delicious. It's different than the other one. Oh, um, than the frozen hurricane? The frozen one. Yeah, like the flavor, overall flavor is good. This is a little more tart, almost like peach or, um, I don't know. I can't. Peach and pineapple or something like that. Whereas the other one was like super sweet, almost like strawberry, cherry, something. Oh, I'll have to um, try it out. Yeah. <laughs> They're both really good, but I prefer a little more tartness with sweetness. Let 
After listening to the King Williams Jazz Band, which put on a good show, I went and tried out some Gator Bites with Boom Boom Sauce. Randall. Yes? <laughs> what do you think of the Gator Bites? I think it's just like chicken, except for a little bit more chewy. It's, I really enjoy it though. And the Boom Boom Sauce has a, at first I didn't feel like there was a kick. I didn't think it was that spicy, but then after a second there was a kick and I was like, oh no. <laughs> But it's still, it's not a bad kick. It's still pretty good. I would, uh, I would probably rate it like an eight out of 10. Yes. Then yas. And yas. Oh, it's out of focus. Get back in focus. There we go. Because we never talked about the beignets, Carol. Beignets. Beignets. Yes. <laughs> They're really good. We actually got them with honey. You can get them without honey or with honey drizzled on them. The honey was so good. It was so we good. I don't remember them offering that last year. I remember them just being powdered sugar, but this time they asked if we wanted honey on it. They're like, yes. Sure. And it was so good. It was so good. They're nice and crispy. They were hot, fresh. I felt like last year they were more stale and maybe a little overcooked, but these ones are really great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Got the shrimp and andouille sausage skewers, and they were really good. The um, Cajun seasoning on it was really good. A little spicy. And my lips I, are still burning. Our lips are still burning a little bit. I would have loved a sauce with it, but other than that, it was good. The shrimp were a little bit dry just because, you know, shrimp don't have a great shelf life. But other than that, I thought they were Maybe an eight out of 10. All right, cool, cool. Like it had a really good flavor and I enjoyed them. The sausage was really good. The sausage was my favorite part. Um, I probably could have just had sausage in them. The cocktail on the corner has Mardi Gras cocktails that we did not know about. How was your shadow man? It's what good. I don't remember everything that's in it, but it's good. <laughs> Um, I think it has rum, rum, raspberry peach, vodka, raspberry, yeah, peach schnapps, um, obviously some blueberries in here, but it's good. It, I was a little bit worried about the peach schnapps, but it's actually really good. I like it better than the, the hurricane because it doesn't have any tartness to it. It's mostly sweet, which of course I like, so <laughs> definitely worth it. I was trying to remember how much we paid for it. So, and it's like, you know, about the same as the, um, hurricanes on the rocks or what they serve at Mardi Gras in the Mardi Gras booths. So, um, yeah, it's just uh, around the corner here near uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah, this was our first time, <laughs> our first time trying the cocktails on the corner stop. So I would say we will be back. Yep. So because of the uh, DC upgrade or universe upgrades they're doing, they're not having the parade this year, but a cavalcade. But yeah, they have one at 12, one at four. One at four comes through the Rockville and DC area. What do you think of the parade, Carol? <laughs> it was fun. Very short, but sweet. Yeah. <laughs> short, but sweet, yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, sense of the new DC uh, area that they're kind of uh, putting in, they had to cut out the floats since they're uh, too large to go through currently while they're doing construction. Looks like they started the paint job for, I uh... can't remember what this is being rethemed to. I think Supergirl? What used to be Skyscraper, so they're starting the repaint of it. So currently Wonder Woman is closed. They're doing some uh, upgrades to it. They closed it, uh, this, I think this is the first week it's closed. Not sure how long it'll be closed for. Probably till spring break, maybe. Um, I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, but they're just doing upgrades to it.
the gully washer is currently closed for the season or for I'm not sure if they're doing renovations upgrades to it but it's closed but that's typical with most water rides around now so I hope we'll be back in time for the spring So I think these posters are brand new. It looks like they're $50 each. But you got the Iron Rattler. You got Dr. Diabolical. We'll eventually have to come back and buy these. I think they're both 50. Yeah, both 50. Both come in a nice uh, protective case as well. Like the snow Oh, and then also the snow globe. Yeah. We're definitely gonna have to come back and buy these because I love posters like this. So right now there's like no one in line for Iron Rattler. So Carol, we're gonna go do it. Oh, get back here. <laughs> Got all the way up here. Barely anyone behind us. No one down there. <laughs> Brother Boudreaux. I was born into the circus, but left behind as a baby. But I'm a Bonami now. Thank you, yeah. brother. This here family's been performing in this family swamp for over four whole years. But that's about to end today. No way is they getting in that Mardi Gras parade. No, sir. usually start these I can I'm just like lost. I don't know. So, it was a fun day. It was a fun day at Fiesta Texas. Yeah, for Mardi Gras. Yeah. It rained a little bit but luckily but, that was just like a it wasn't a storm or anything like that so nothing shut down. It's clear blue skies now so you yeah. would never know. But yeah Mardi Gras at Fiesta Texas great food good shows. Um, we didn't catch the in the what was it? we just didn't catch party Looney Tunes party grass and the one at Sanger Hall, I can't remember which that one's called. But everything is good. There's nothing bad that I think we got. Yep. Yeah. All the food was good. Rides are good. Yeah. Shows are good. It's all good. Carol's feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. It's been a good day. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, birds. Uh, until next time. Um, I don't know, Carol. You got anything to say? Um, bye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs>
Am I doing the outro? No. <laughs> Please no. Oh, there's a dog. Oh. Okay, there's a dog right over there. <laughs> <laughs>